G'day guys, uh, Ash here from Soul Creed Clothing and today we're going to be doing a set of leggings, a pair of leggings from the same uh, fluid art piece I did the other day uh, which I, I did a tutorial on and I made a swimsuit from this. So today we're going to do leggings but before I begin there's a trick that I do um, within Coral Draw. Uh, what I do because when I take a photo of my fluid art and I bring it in, it's really, really big. And some of the programs that I use to do various things with this design um, take ages and ages to generate because the file's so big. So, <coughs> excuse me, what I do is I click on the image and I come up to bitmap and I click on resample and I leave the aspect ratio on and I come up here and I just make it a lot smaller than what it is so it runs through the oh, and we've got to change the DPI from 72 to 300 300 and bring that down to 1000 and then click OK and that'll bring it down nice and small so when I do the programs use the programs it doesn't take forever to generate the stuff I want. Okay, so here's our uh, photo of the fluid art pour I did the other day. Now what I want to do is I want to flip it around 90 degrees. So we go here, there's the transform thing, the angle, you type in 90, click apply, and that gets it on an angle there that I like. So now there's just this middle section here I'm interested in. Now this design will look a little bit different from the swim suit, one piece swimsuit I did the other day simply because I don't, I, I, I like to use the same design but in different different areas. I'll take a snippet from a different area to make um, a pair of leggings and then I'll use the same fluid art but take a different snippet from somewhere else and I'll move them around. And so it's basically the same fluid art, it's just in a different position on various media that I uh, have it printed on so here we go so I like this middle section through here so I'm going to grab the cropping tool and I'm just going to come straight through here here and here let's come up a bit and see I don't like this area here and I don't like this area here there's not a lot going on here and I have to do something about this big white splotchy thing here so before we do all that let's just click on that and crop it and let's come up and deal with the white elephant in the room which is here so what I'm going to do is create a circle and just go over that circle like so now we're going to zoom in like so and I'm going to use the color picker tool which is down the bottom and I'm going to pick an area of this blue here and, and stick it in this circle and I'll show you a little bit of a trick I do. So we don't want this really vibrant blue up here because down here it's not vibrant. So we've got to pick something that's pretty sort of common throughout the whole thing. So I may, I might be happy with that. So we just click off and we click this little thing here which will take the black outline off. Now that may be too dark but we won't know until we turn it into a transparency. So we'll click on transparency here, we'll come up to the properties bar and we'll select this one here and then we'll come down here and select the circle one. Okay, so now what we do is we select the picking tool and then we come up to bitmap, we convert to bitmap, 300 dpi, RGB and click OK. Now what we do is we come up to the copy button, we copy paste, copy paste, copy paste until I'm happy with that and that's looking pretty good so then we select it all I'll just come over to the object docker on the right just so you can see how many I've done I've done one two three four copy or three copy and paste off the original image um, circle that I did so now we come to bitmap convert to bitmap and press go now this is the part where we play around with it see there's still a bit of white coming through there and I don't want that so let's click on the image and rotate it a bit 
and click off, click on, and bring it up. So having a little bit of white come through there is not bad from my perspective, but I don't want a lot of it, so we'll just angle it a bit more. Something like that, almost. Uh, yeah, let's bring it down a little bit. No, up. And let's... Oops, what happened there? There it is. Let's just come out. There it is there. Okay, because it's so small, the, uh, the trigger on the mouse, moving it around is very um, sensitive. So, okay, so let's bring it down as in shorten it so I can get a thicker band here around this section here. And let's just pull it out a bit. Pull it out a bit more there, 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 and there like so. And bring it in a bit more like that. Okay, so that's not too bad from my perspective. So the, the majority of it's gone. We've still got a bit of white coming through there. So it doesn't look too bad. So let's just zoom out. Let's select the whole thing come to the crop tool and crop it within the parameters and then come to the bitmap tool convert to bitmap 300 dpi RGB and then we have a much more presentable piece and it doesn't look too silly up here you see the, the reason why you use the transparency because it fades into the other colors and there's no like really sharp lines like this to make it look like it's been edited. Okay, so I'm really happy with that, how that looks, but I want to make it look more vibrant. And how I do that is I have these tools from my friend Thomas Knight over at Advanced T-Shirts. These are basically Coral Draw plugins that speed up your work. There's so much functionality in these plugins here that I use um, that it's just taken my work to a whole new level. So what I want to do with this is I want to draw the black out of this design and to do that I'm going to click on Simple Seps Raster and that's going to come up. Now these plugins here are what takes a really long time if your file is too big. <coughs> Excuse me. So what we want to do, this plugin here has so much functionality. You can click yellow, magenta and cyan and then it'll rip those three colours out and put them on a separate, separate layer and you'll have just those there. But for today, all I want is the black. So we click on the black, click the object and then click click steps. And that'll go through and generate. There it is there, but it just hasn't quite finished yet. Now, if this file was as big as how it was the original photo I took and brought that in, I'd be here for five or ten minutes waiting, and I don't want that. So let's minimize that. I'll just bring Magnify in to show you that. See how it's just ripped the black out. Now, that is on a transparent background, and I'll show you what I mean. So we click on it, then we right-click, copy. We come back to our graphic. That's not it because it's over here and we right click off the image and click on paste and it'll go straight onto it like that. Now we'll go to object so you can see. So that's the one we bought in and there's the bitmap itself. And what I'll do is I'll show you the difference now. See how more vibrant that is? Now if we go back to the original piece, I'll show you. There it is there. And back with the black, there, without and back with. Okay, so that's come out pretty dark actually, isn't it? So I'm losing a bit of, um, oh, but that's right. I don't really want that part or that part, so that's okay. Yeah, all right, I'm happy with that. So now what we do, select them both, click on bitmap, convert to bitmap 300 DPI, and then there we go like that. Okay, so now what I wanna do, is while it's still small is play around with it a bit in terms of um, copying and pasting the same image on itself and flipping it around various ways uh, yeah but I can do that while it's big yep so see how small it is this template here is the exact measurements for a printful leggings guideline template so 
What I want to do is I want to bring in their guideline thing here, which is this. Click on that, copy it. I just had it ready to go over the other page, so saves time. So I'll paste that in, like so, and then I click on the graphic, actually click off the graphic. And so what I want to do is basically have this graphic here. Sorry, I'll have this graphic here as one actual leg of the leggings itself. So obviously two legs, but I want that to be, say, the left leg or the right leg. So we'll click out. So what I'll do is the width of this guide, this template here, the Printful Leggings template, is 14,100. So I have to half that, but keep the length of the height. So Half of 14,100 is 7,050. So we click on the image, we go to bitmap, and we click on resample. Ah, so yeah, I'll just explain again. The reason we click on resample is because when you want to go from when I brought this file, the photograph of my fluid output the other day, and I brought it into CorelDRAW, and I I minimized it, and the reason, I, sorry, I, I resampled it smaller so that the plugins that I use are a lot faster. And the reason I do that, uh, resample it to a smaller or a larger size, is because when you resample, it does not lose any definition. What you see as a large image, and then you resample it to a very small one to make your work go faster it does not lose any definition. If you were to come in and start grabbing the sides of an image and pulling it out by the by the little arrows in the corner, going in and out and in and out, large and small, it'll lose a ton of definition. So that's not what we want. Okay, so without further ado, let's go up ahead. So half of uh, the, the width of this template is 7,050. Now, we want to... Click off maintain aspect ratio, and we want this to be 12,300 because that's the correct height. And then we click OK. And then that will generate and come up nice and big, which is what we want. Now we've got to get it nice and tucked into this template. OK, so what we do now is I really, really like that design, guys. I'm so happy with that design. I cannot tell you. Okay, so now we've got to flip it across. So what we do, click on the image, come up to copy, and then paste, and then click off, click on, and we want to flip it horiz uh, horizontally. So we use that tool there. And then normally, if it was really small, you could use the arrow keys on your keyboard to bring it across, and I'll just show you how slow it is. See that? Really slow. So you just bring it over using your mouse and your cursor, and then before you get too funky with it, you've got to make um, align them. So you select both and press the letter T on your keyboard. And I'll come in and show you the difference there. See now it's in perfect alignment with the lines, but you can see the um, it, it's not quite right. And the reason that is, is because this one here is not quite out enough. So I've got to click off. Click on the, the right-hand side one, or the left, it doesn't matter. And then use the arrow keys, if I can. If I wasn't able to use arrow keys, I would use the mouse. And OK, so that's pretty much perfect there. See how everything is really hunky-dory there. So that's good. Now we'll come out. I know it looks like there's a white line there, guys, but there isn't. It just looks like that. So let's, I'll show you. We'll just come in. See, it's gone. Let's do a little bit up the top. There you go. It's not there. Okay, so I'm happy with that, but let's bring in the Printful template, the guidelines, and let's see how it may look. Okay, so we've got one underneath the template and one above. So let's just go to the right and flip that up there. Wow, that's going to be really profound and vibrant on a pair of leggings. Um, but I may not be happy with that design. So once again, this is a bit of trial and error. So we'll leave that as it is and we'll come over to the right. And we'll flip it horizontally again, both of them. And we'll see what that looks like. Wow, that's pretty cool too. 
All right, okay, I'm happy with both of those at the moment, but let's flip them up vertically now. Let's go there and then the other one as well. Wow, okay. Keeping in mind, guys, you've always got to be careful of this crutch area here because there are some things here that when we go from here and we save the file and we, we send it over to the Printful mock-up generator, uh, in the early days when I was doing these, I made a lot of errors of judgment and some of my leggings and swimsuits, etc., came out with some very unflattering um, graphics in the crutch area. Uh, so we want to avoid that. And just through practice, uh, you will learn to a certain degree what may work and what won't. But <clears throat> at the end of the day, it's really not until we get into the mock-up generator that we actually see when it look when it's actually on a model, um, you'll see what looks cool and what does not look cool. So, all right. So <clears throat> now we flip that up. Let's flip it back horizontally that way and back horizontally that way. Okay. Now some of the things in here. See, this is the crutch area here. Some of these things may look unflattering, but as I said, we're not going to know until we get to the mock-up generator so all right so let's flip these up again horizontally i think i like this one better out of them all but let's just see what that looks like flipped horizontally i think it's going to come down to either one of these two here so let's start with this one all right so let's get rid of that template let's delete it and let's select both images click bitmap, convert to bitmap, 300 dpi, and click OK. Now we're going to save the file in my leggings folder. Just wait. Yep, it's gone from 2 to 1. See it there. So now we go file, we go export. We're going to export that as a JPEG. I'm going to find my um, leggings folder. So we go there, there. Sorry, I should have had all this done before ready to go but I didn't okay so Facebook mockups uh, mockups no it's not mockups it's art files where's that gone all right guys I'll just pause it I'll be back in a sec okay I found it here it is here so we're just going to call this um, number one for my reference only and click export it'll take a moment to generate because it's such a large file now um, but we need it to be to meet the Printful's dimensions um, parameters, which is very important. Okay, so we click OK, and now we'll come into the Printful mock-up generator. Here we are here, and I want to select leggings, in particular the yoga ones. I like those ones. Okay, so now that kind of a graphic, let's just go back. Okay, instead of a white stitch, I think a black stitch is going to go well here. I think it will accentuate that rather than white. So we'll come over here and see here it says stitch color. Let's click on black. <coughs> Excuse me. And click on choose file. Now it's not in here yet. So this is the same fluid art file which I did a swimsuit of the other day. Uh, that's available in my shop, by the way, in my Etsy store. So let's click Upload, and we've actually got to go in and find it. Uh, YouTube, no, we don't want YouTube. We want, uh, no, that's swimsuit still. Fluid Art Leggings, we want to go Mockups, and we want to click on Ink and Shelly Art. There it is there. So we click on it, click Open, take a moment to generate. <coughs> Actually, I might pause that, guys. It's taken a while. Okay, guys, we're back again. It's finished uploading. So now what I do is I choose the file. We come up, and that will process into there. Okay, so that is the front, which will actually be sewn and create two legs. Now, we've still got the front waist, the back waist, and my inside label to go. 
But before we go ahead with anything else, let's click on mock-up view and see roughly how it's going to look. <clears throat> let's see if there's anything unflow. Oh, that looks terrible. Looks like two ovaries or something there. Okay, so I don't like that at all. Um, okay, yeah, no, not a fan of it. So let's go back to file view. And while we're in here, let's try flipping it up over here and see what happens there. Okay, that may end up looking a bit better. So let's click on mock-up. And see what we see there. Yeah, no, it's just... it's. I'm not happy with it. I'm really not. That's the side. The side looks pretty cool, but I'm not happy with the front. All right, so what we do is we get rid of that artwork and we come back into Coral Draw and I have a play around with it. So in order to play around with that successfully, I've got to bring it back to the two bitmaps. So I just click Control and the letter Z on the keyboard, which brings it back to two uh, separate images instead of one. Okay, so there was a lot of blue up in that area there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this one on the left altogether. And I'm going to come into this and I'm going to crop a little bit more out of this image to make it do what I want it to do, basically. So let's go sort of there kind of deal. Mm, yeah, let's do that. All right. Go like that. We'll crop it. Okay. So now we have to go back to resample, resample, and click off maintain aspect ratio. We want 7050 by 12.3, by 12.3, click OK. OK, there we go. We'll just bring that into the, the grid. There we go. Shuffle over a tiny bit and maybe a little bit down. There we go. Okay, so <clears throat> let's click off, click on, click copy and paste, click off, click on, and flip it oh, the, uh, Sorry, horizontally. Bring this over as best we can, and then come out, select both objects, uh, press the letter T on your keyboard, which will align them, and then let's come in with the magnifying glass and you can see here it's just a bit out now that's not because it's not aligned uh, vertically it's not aligned horizontally so we just click on one of the images over here but we've got to click off click on zoom in so we can and pick an area where you can see very well okay now we just use the arrow on the keyboard now that's gone too far but that is perfect. So now we come out, and it does look like there's a white line there, guys, but it, there isn't, because when you come in with the magnifying glass, it's gone, and everything's in perfect alignment. So we um, magnify out, then we select both images, we create a bitmap, convert to bitmap 300 dpi, and take a moment to generate, because it's such a large file. And we're going to take this one back in, oh, sorry, we've got to export it first, and then we're going to take it back into the mock-up generator. Okay, so we don't want this one, so we just click on it and click export. Yes, we know it exists, and yes, we want to replace it. <coughs> just a moment to generate. Da, 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 da. Come on. Uh, pause it. Oh, there it is. Hang on. Let's go. Okay. Okay. So now we go to the mock-up generator. Uh, we, we've we already um, selected the stitch in the previous page. So we just want to choose the file. And we don't want this one. And we don't want to get confused. So let's delete it. <clears throat> and then we go through the upload stage again. So here's the new one here. Let's click on that and click open. And I'll just pause it now because it takes a long time to uh, generate. Okay, guys, we're back. It's just finishing up uh, loading into the file area now. So let's click on choose. <clears throat> and
and it'll superimpose that over there and let's click on mock up view and let's see what we've got now <laughs> pardon me it should be wish oh, no I'm not happy with that uh, neither am I happy with the side no uh, I thought the side looked better on the last one okay so let's yeah no I'm not happy with that all right let's flip it up uh, let's go back to file view let's flip it uh, vertically and let's see if that's going to make a difference so now we'll go to mock-up view <coughs> okay right well still not completely satisfied with that the side looks better on that one but I'm still not happy with the front and we don't see the back yet simply because I haven't done the front waist and until we put the front waist in it's not going to show us that on a mock-up view so uh, I wasn't happy with that so let's get out of there we're back into the file section let's get out of there let's go back to Coral Draw let's select that let's turn it back to two images instead of the one there we go let's flip them horizontally again the other way and let's see what we see this time when we take it back into the mock-up generator okay so let's select those let's click on bitmap convert to bitmap 300 dpi and oh yeah, it's going to take a minute so i'll pause it hang on go okay that's finished generating so we go file we go export and we want to get rid of this one so we just click on it go export yes click yes and now i'll pause it again it takes a few minutes okay click ok go back to the mock-up generator click on choose file and we've got to get rid of this one so we keep uh, the area nice and clean and we click on upload here's the new piece up here just wait for a second there it is open and that'll take a few minutes to generate so I'll click pause I'll be back in a sec guys okay it's just finishing uploading now so let's select it and it'll bring it in and let's click on mock-up view yeah don't like it <laughs> do not like it the side doesn't look too bad but I don't like that so let's go <coughs> Actually, let's see if I can flip it inside the mock-up generator, see if that does anything. Mm, not sure. Didn't No, it didn't do what I wanted it to do, but it may have flipped it, but just didn't see it. Ah, okay. Now, ooh. Okay, there's, you know, something, a little something there that's, you know, not real great. <clears throat> but I like the side. And I like the front better than all of the other ones. Mm, just not 100% sure about that. It doesn't look totally ridiculous, but... Ooh, you know what? Let's generate the rest of the files and let's see what we see. Okay, so let's go file view. We've got to do the front waist and the back waist. So what we're going to do is come back into Coral Draw yeah okay so all right so let's get rid of that we don't need that <clears throat> i like to keep my space clean here's the um the waistband uh gizmo so we want to paste that into here and basically what we want to do is bring this over to some sections that we think will look curl as a waistband so it's a bit hard to see there i understand that but we want a section of it to be looking pretty cool and i don't mind that bit there okay so what we'll do <clears throat> is we'll grab that bring that over here we'll grab select that and then we'll come in with our magnifying glass and then we'll click back to the picker we'll click on the crop tool and we will 
grab that to the perimeters of that and that will delete everything around it and now we can delete the thing there okay yeah I'm pretty happy with that and there's that there okay but to be able to successfully um, send this out as a save file we have to just get rid of this for the moment so let's get rid of that we've got a save file there let's click on file let's click export and we're going to call this waste band now I use the same template as you use for the front as for the back and the reason I do that is because there's just not much difference guys the the back template is a bit smaller than the front one but <clears throat> I've never had any issues with it with it looking silly using the same one okay so we're in the front front waste section of the file so we choose file come into here we click upload I won't need to pause this one because it's only a small file and click open it should generate pretty quickly here we go yep done and then we choose it and that'll come in yep okay it's off center so let's let's move that right there that's perfect see the line through here that's the center of the image and everything there will be perfect okay so now we do the same thing with the back choose file there it is there choose it <clears throat> And you can, as you can see, that's that's a bit off as well. So we'll just move that across. And let's just flip it, see what it looks like when it's flipped. Okay, bugger it. I'm going to do that just for something different. Now I'll select the inside label, choose file. I have mine pre-saved because I use it quite a bit. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I've got a new one that I want to put in here. So did I put it in the other day? No, I didn't. All right, I'm just going to pause it for a sec, guys, and find the new logo I made and put it in here. All right, we're back. I found my logo, so let's just choose it, and that'll go in. Should be the right size. Perfect. All right, so now let's go to generate files, and I use the barefoot ones and these three here. And let's click generate files. And I might take a second, I might pause it, hang on. Oh, no, we're back, all right. And now we click on download files and that'll go into my download section and that's going fairly quick, bottom left here. So we'll leave that go, <coughs> pardon me. And that'll go into my download section, which is done now. So let's go here, select downloads and here it is here. It's called waistband, it doesn't matter what it's called. So we left click it, right click it, and then go extract all and click extract. And that'll open it up into this same folder. Let's just enlarge it and let's select all of, the, all of these if it'll let us. And I want to look at this one here. So I'll right click on her and then just click open. And this will open them all up into like a, I um, oh, couldn't remember the name of it the other the other day. Okay, I don't mind that actually. I think that doesn't look too bad. That's kind of pretty funky actually. And there's, you know, it's not totally unflattering. But let's go through, have a look at some other ones. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't mind that. Oh yeah, that looks cool. That looks cool. The back. Ugh, see, this is where you get to see the back. Now, okay. Right. Okay. In front. Okay. Maybe. Ooh, hang on. You know, the front may look good on the back. And the back may look better on the front. Hmm. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Let's, <clears throat> let's get rid of all of these. Let's keep it clean. There's nothing worse than ending up with a gazillion model comps in your download section and you don't remember <laughs> which one was which. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to just come back to where we were, back to edit. And the inside label, the back waist and the front waist is fine. But what we want to do is play around with this stuff here. Uh, so 
that was for the front, which was okay, but the back was a bit dodgy, wasn't it? So let's see. Oh, yeah, no, there's nothing I can do here. Oh, let's flip it up. Let's see what it looks like flipped up. Yeah, no, I, I seem to remember we'd already tried that and it didn't look too cool. But let's have a look again anyway. May have to go back into Coral Draw and play around with it a bit more. <clears throat> but we'll have a look. Yeah, no, nah, don't like it. Don't like it at all. All right, back to file view. Let's flip it up again. And just take another gander. Okay, look, I'm happy with that for the front, but the back, well, mm, yeah, mm. sides look cool. I'm happy with the sides, and yeah, front, I'm happy with, looks pretty funky. And then the back, it's just like got a lot of red through here. I mean, it's not totally awful, but, you know, I think I can do better. I really do. So let's get rid of that. Let's come back into Coral Draw and let's just control Z back to here. Let's get rid of this one and back to here. And, oh, I didn't go back far enough. Sorry, guys. We need to get that big one back to two separate images. We've got a few to go. There we go. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to come in again on this and check it out. And try and work out what is going to look cool and what's... Mm, yeah, you know what? I'm going to start from the absolute beginning again because I'm just not happy with that and I think the graphic is so good that I just do not want to lose it. So let's come back to <clears throat> where I have the graphic saved, which is here and then here and then here and then here and here. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I'll... Yes, I'll pause this and I'll just get back to a graphic I like and we'll go from there. Okay, guys, we're back. So this is the original photo I took of my fluid art pour and I'm going to take something a little different from it this time um, because I wasn't happy with that other one. So the, the last one I came through sideways like this, but this time I'm going to come through this section here and grab all this and this little stuff here, which I, <clears throat> I think is going to look better. So I'm going to click on the image, come into crop, and I'm going to come sort of through, uh, down through here and a little bit more there. So let's crop that. Okay. So in order, I'm just going to leave that white line there this time. I don't think it's going to end up showing up anyway. And this section here won't, uh, but we need to do something up here. So in order to do that, I'll crop it again, but I'll crop it right across from there down and I'll just get rid of that white thing altogether just so it doesn't cause us any problems going forward all right <clears throat> this section here I quite like that might look good and in through here might look good as well okay so let's uh, zoom out of that and see it's still very small and there's a reason I've done that because I'm going to use that program on there now but to give you an idea, it hasn't lost any definition through here at all when you resample it. That's the difference that it, that it makes. So, okay, so let's open up my program and it's called Clickseps Raster. We've already selected the black and it's the black that we want. So let's click on Clickseps. <coughs> By doing the black, it just it ends up making it look more vibrant. So there it is there. So I want to copy that 
and bring it into our graphic, which is here. So you, you right click off the image and you left click on paste and it'll put it in perfect placement. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So now we select both images. We come to bitmap, we convert to bitmap 300 DPI and click OK. Now, <clears throat> we've got to resample it back into the big image that we need to coincide with the um, printful template. So we click on resample and we want to click off maintain aspect ratio and half of that template is 7050 by I think it was 12.3 wasn't it yeah and then click OK and that'll bring it up to the big one that we want and then we want to bring it over and get it perfect in this grid here which it is there okay so I really like that I think this is going to be a better one than the ones that we just did I've just got a good feeling about it guys so let's do that let's come to click on copy and click paste click off click on flip it horizontally and then bring it over with your mouse and cursor uh, zoom out select both images hit the letter t on your keyboard the perfect alignment and then bring the magnifying glass in to somewhere where you can see some lines that are going to look good that'll give you a good idea of um, when you use the mouse arrows to bring it across and there it is perfect alignment all the lines are perfect so now we zoom out I know it looks like there's a white line through there but there isn't when you zoom in there just isn't okay I'm really happy with that I think we're gonna do something pretty cool with this so let's turn it into a bitmap convert to bitmap 300 dpi there we go well oh, it's taken a while now yeah, it'll happen there we go right so now we go file <clears throat> we go export and we want to get rid of that one so we just click on it click export yes it exists and yes we want to replace it I'll just pause it guys okay it's generated let's click OK and let's go to the mock-up generator choose click file and we want to get rid of this one so we click remove delete file and we re-upload the new one which is back here there mockups in Conchelia there it is so we've got to click on that and then that was it was it mm, yes 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 okay I'll pause it now okay guys it's just finishing generating now and uh, let's see what we see this time okay right well hopefully this stuff here doesn't <clears throat> leave us looking with an unflattering section so let's click on mocker see what we see okay yeah no that's not too bad there's nothing silly in there I'm just not sh well actually mm, I like the front of the other one better, but anyway, let's look at the back. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah, that's better than that big ready thing that was there previously. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. The front, let's have a look at the front again. <clears throat> okay, look, I, I don't mind it, but let's go back to file view. Let's flip it and see what we see now when we go to mock-up view. Uh, well, yeah, no. No, don't like it. Yeah, no, and the back's no good either. See how it's got this sort of thing there? You want to try and avoid that kind of stuff. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but let's go back to file view. Let's flip it back to where it was. I'm happy enough with that, but let's just take another look at the mock-up view one last time before we generate the actual model comps. Yeah, look, I'm happy with that for the front. Yep, we're digging that. 
and the back is pretty cool from my perspective. The sides, yep, yeah, all right, I'm happy with that. So let's generate the files. So we've selected that one, then we want these ones, these ones, and these ones, and click on generate. Whoop, oh, hang on, did I select JPEG? Don't think I did. Let's see if we get another chance to do that. If they're in PNG, they take forever to load. Ah, okay. JPEG. Cool. Generate files. <clears throat> and download. I'll just pause it, guys. Okay, let's go find them. Downloads. Here they are here. Extract. Yes. And let's select all of them. And I want to check out this one here as our first one. Let's open that. And it'll open it in. Yeah, digging that. <clears throat> yep, like that. Wow, looking cool. Looking cool. Uh, yeah, sides looking good. Digging that. And the back looks pretty cool too. The only thing I just saw back a second ago, this thing here, uh, let's, what does the one at the back look like of the other one? The back is the back, that's there, ah, uh, no, I'm happy with that, it'll do. Alright, so, we want to, well, that's basically it, guys, that is the tutorial for doing a pair of leggings um, from Fluid Art and, you know, editing it in Coral Draw and then transferring it across into your Printful portal and doing the mock-ups and then getting happy with everything and then um, putting it into either your website or your Etsy store or whatever you've got. I've got an Etsy store. Um, th these leggings will be available um, uh, at the end of this video. I'll have a link in the description area underneath the video in YouTube. You'll be able to click on that and go through and purchase these. Uh, guys, if you like this sort of stuff or you want to buy some of my stuff, um, if you'd be so kind to please click on the like button, leave a nice comment and um, maybe even subscribe. If you subscribe, that'd be great. Uh, click the grey bell once you've clicked subs subscribe, stutter app. And then click the top grey bell, which will give you all of my uh, videos instantaneously in your news feed. So I'm really happy with that design, guys, on those leggings. I thought this design came up just, you know, awesome. So, all right, guys, um, thanks for watching. Ciao for now. cornerstone I know that I can't be without you this bond is solid gold we're a diamond and an emerald it took me forever to find you cause when it's all over the love that you give